Steve Hansen here with the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com where we help cleaning business owners start, grow, and scale their businesses. Now I often read uh, questions from people that are on Facebook or uh, on our, our private chat. They'll be asking, you know, what piece of equipment they should be using to perform a certain task. And the number one rule that you have, always have to remember is, <clears throat> excuse me, that you have to match the equipment to the task at hand and you need to match the cleaner to the equipment. So what I mean by that is that if we're out uh, scrubbing a, let's say a, a gymnasium, well, we're not going to be using, <laughs> using this grout brush to scrub that entire floor, would we? That just makes no sense. So obviously we'd probably use an auto scrubber. So when I talk about that, that's what you need to keep in mind. If you've got uh, a bunch of hallways that your uh, hallways in uh, wide open space, why would you use a backpack or even an upright vacuum cleaner to vacuum that space? Why wouldn't you use like a 28 inch uh, battery sweeper uh, or a 32 inch? But why wouldn't you use a battery sweeper? That's, you know, just fit the task, uh, fit your equipment to meet the task. So, you know, we know for a fact that uh, if I used a battery sweeper to clean all these wide open spaces and hallways, um, that I get the job done uh, quicker, meaning that my production rate is higher. Uh, that, so, you know, in that, uh, for that reason, you know, there's no reason why I'd use an upright vacuum cleaner to vacuum all that space. That just makes no sense whatsoever. Um, so always remember that. It doesn't matter if you're vacuuming a floor, if you're scrubbing a floor, mopping a floor, uh, or you're wiping countertops, uh, cleaning ceilings, cleaning walls. It really doesn't matter what the task is. Always think about matching your equipment to the task at hand and then match the cleaner to the equipment. What I mean by that is that quite often you'll see uh, cleaning companies or cleaning cleaners out there mopping with a conventional mop and bucket and here this, uh, this person is probably only, let's say, you know, five foot three, or in some, most cases, when I witness this, is typically a, a woman. Uh, and, you know, they're uh, about five foot three or so, and uh, maybe, you know, 100, 120 pounds, maybe. But here they're slinging around this 24 ounce mop at the end of this mop handle. <clears throat> that really makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, that's an injury waiting to be ha to waiting to happen. Um, so again, when you set up your cleaners with the equipment, make sure the equipment matches the cleaners. So in that case, if you're using a conventional mop and bucket for a person to mop a large area of floors, you don't give them a 24 ounce. Uh, a smaller person like that there, maybe you're going to give them a, a 12 ounce or a 16 ounce mop head. Uh, you got to match it to their body weight. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're, when you're doing that, uh, because if you don't, you have to think about the weight that the end of that mop, what that mop head has, you know, it absorbs a lot of water and, you know, uh, um, a gallon of water equals eight pounds and, you know, just somebody slinging this mop around, especially if they don't wring it out very well, uh, they're slinging a lot of weight at the end of that mop and they're using a twisting motion generally when they're mopping, uh, which is, a uh, which is another, uh, I guess that's another video to talk about the, the proper training of mopping and so on and so forth. But uh, keep that in mind. Uh, we have to do that. So when you, uh, when somebody asks you, you know, what piece of equipment uh, should you use for this, uh, for this task, think about the most efficient piece of equipment and the, the, the best piece of equipment to match your cleaner. If you do that, then you'll be fine. Uh, and remember, you know, the, the whole thing about cleaning is that the most efficient uh, cleaning business wins, hands down, plain and simple, uh, <laughs> end of story, uh, because that's a fact. Um, if you and I, if my company bids against your company in, in a, uh, on a project, well, and, and my processes and systems that I've developed over 32 years are more efficient than yours, chances are that means I can probably go in at a lower price, although I'm not selling on price, but I could probably just win the proposal based off of my price because I'm more efficient than you are. And that's really what it's all about. If my team's moving through a facility at a, a production rate of 5,500 square feet per hour and you're only turning 3,300 square feet per hour, well, obviously I can clean the facility much faster than, than your company can. 
which means that I have a, more of an opportunity to actually close that deal and uh, be able to win to, to win the uh, uh, win the proposal. So that's a it's a fact. You know, uh, it doesn't matter for cleaning homes or for cleaning commercial office buildings. It, it, the same is true. Um, so you know, keep that in mind when you're uh, when you're doing a task, match match the equipment for the task at hand and uh, match the cleaners to the equipment so everybody will be safe when they're performing their task. Well that's it. Uh, uh, make sure that you uh, like and share the video and if you do have any comments uh, post, them down, post them below in the uh, comment section and uh, we'll see you next time.